We all suffer from nerves. I don't think there's a performer worth his salt in the world who doesn't suffer from nerves. And we all show this in different ways. Uh, it's a private battle of mine, which I fought for many, many years. And I think the worst aspect of it has not been the nerves themselves, although they've been bad enough, but hiding them from other people. You go out onto a, a platform or onto a stage, and the last thing an audience wants to see is a nervous performer, because they immediately <laughs> become infected by what you're feeling. It transfers itself so quickly to people, this, whatever this thing is that you're feeling inside. And it's hounded me all my working life, and in fact, spoilt to a great extent the enjoyment of my job, because for singers, the first thing that happens if you get nervous is the butterflies in the stomach. Your breath control, in other words, um, completely packs up, or it does to a certain extent. So you've been practicing certain phrases or a certain uh, way of singing something at home. Marvelous, it works perfectly. You go out onto the stage or onto a concert platform, and this wretched thing, fear, immediately stops you doing what you've been practicing, what you've been working, what you've been hoping for, probably for many weeks or many months. I don't know what I'm afraid of. I suppose I'm afraid of not doing my best. I'm afraid of what people will think or what people will say. Um, I'm afraid of not coming up to people's expectations. And after you've made a name, you know, this thing they say, it's relatively easy to get to the top. The hard thing is staying there. It's only a comparatively short time ago that a friend of mine talked to me very seriously about this very question. And one of the things Margaret said was to explain to me that I'd been born with a gift. And she said, the gift belongs to you. And I can remember listening to this comment with total astonishment. All my life, I have considered my gift a responsibility. I've considered it a, a God-given thing over which I have no control. I didn't ask for it. It was implanted in me, presumably from birth, the ability to sing. And I've always thought of it as a tremendous responsibility to be given to other people. You know, you can hear s somebody tells you something and you understand it in a way. And then as you think about an important idea, it becomes yours. You really understand it. And this is the process that I'm in the middle of now. I'm really beginning to understand for the first time in my life that my gift is a joy for me. It's bringing me tremendous joy. And I think that in doing so, it's probably, as a byproduct, giving my audiences more joy. I don't know. I can't say that because it would be silly to, to believe that 20, for 25 years I, I have been failing in my job. I don't think that. I think I've done good work and, and brought pleasure to a lot of people, but unfortunately have not been sharing in that. Uh, pleasure myself. Now, I am beginning to share in it. It's, a, it's a, a total thing of joy, hopefully for the audience, but certainly for me. And it's, it's, it's like a, a weight taken from my shoulders. And, and my working life, my attitude to my working life is totally different.